Did you have good luck with women? Let's talk about when you met your wife. Okay. Yes. Uh, I met her at one of these uh, international folk dances on either a Thursday or Friday night at the Cambridge YWCA. And it would have been late 1968. I had started dancing in 67 when I moved to Cambridge there. And she, she started in 68. So that's when I met her. And uh, we interacted some. It was the it was uh, beginning of my second year at Harvard, so it was a tra transition phase <laughs> time. Yeah, so I must have just been you know beginning to take my first course at MIT in linguistics. So uh, I I met her and we interacted some. Did you dance with her? I did, mm -hmm. but then I somehow made the mistake of getting married to somebody else that I danced with. <laughs> Oops. Oops. And that only lasted uh, three years. <laughs> and then I fixed it up and got back together with Roberta. <laughs> yeah. I'll tell you how I got together with her the second time. There was a big Balkan dance workshop, Bulgarian dance workshop at Harvard in, uh, um, what's, the, what's the name of the room? Memorial Hall. I don't know if you know Harvard at all, but there's this... Uh, the end of Cambridge Street, just where the underpass is, there's this huge Victorian building, and it's called Memorial Hall, and uh, there was a, uh, a Balkan dance workshop by a guy from Montreal, a big Balkan dance teacher named Yves Moreau, and uh, hundreds and hundreds of people went, and Roberta at the time had a big apartment. She invited everybody over afterwards, after the dance workshop was over. So I went along with everybody, and I never left. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Roberta's always been a pretty independent person. I'm guessing for some women, the way I was living wouldn't have worked very well, you know, being, being away, you know, several days teaching and then coming back. But it, was, it, it worked out fine. You know, she had plenty to do and plenty of... Uh, hobbies and friends so mm -hmm. yeah so that so what you're doing now is what you've done that's right already. it's only slightly different because uh, when I was at the University of Connecticut I would travel by car because it's 90 miles <laughs> but now I have to travel by plane because it's 400 miles oh. and then my first couple of years I would be down in Connecticut Monday through Wednesday and then Friday I would often make the round trip um, uh, though in subsequent years in Connecticut, I would seldom make that second round trip. So it was mostly just Monday through Wednesday, unless there was some special event. At uh, Maryland, it's almost always Monday through Thursday. Fly down Monday morning, fly home Thursday night. Mm -hmm. And before all that, did you have good luck with women? Juicy question. In high school... Um, I, I had a, a steady girlfriend for several years, and it was, it was sort of interesting because uh, she's really good looking and very popular, but somehow she picked me. <laughs> I know many years later when I got involved with Scottish music um, at an event, I ran into a woman who lives uh, just outside New York, uh, uh, who it turns out was in the same high school orchestra I was in. <laughs> Um, she was maybe four years behind me, but she was a violinist in the orchestra. I was the timpanist, and we didn't know each other at all then. But we got to talking and reminiscing, and she uh, she remembered this woman who was a flute player in the orchestra, and uh, she just literally rejected as a falsehood my claim that she is my girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs>